And I want to give an example because I feel like that, that this is just one prime example. I was talking to a gentleman the other day and he said, well, when you do Thrive interviews, uh, that's got to be fun. I mean, you just show up and the, the mentors sh show up and you just ask them questions. And I uh, uh, was trying to explain to him, I said, for every um, you know, five hours of recording, it takes you about 25 hours to prep. And so my preparation for um, you know, interviewing with you was to, to read your book. And I felt like I, I owed it to you, but I felt like I owed it to the, the people that were uh, are going to learn from this for me to know enough about it to be able to at least ask you some questions that make yeah, sense. Sure. And, and I think that preparation is so big. It's so big. And I think when, especially when, the higher you get up there, uh, when you get asked to lead a board meeting or you get asked to give a speech, if you haven't prepared, people know. Right. And it's just awesome when people watch somebody who has not prepared acting as though they've prepared. I mean, it's just... It's not a pleasant sight, and oh, so. <clears throat> the more you move up the ladder, the more that becomes exposed. I mean, you can maybe get by when you're at an entry level, but when you move into the, the C-suite, when you're not prepared, it's, it's not good. Yeah, it's, it's just huge. So I would encourage anybody watching this, just rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. How well are you doing at preparing for the job that you currently have? Because you can always get promoted out of that job to another job. Or, right. um, now moving on to life lesson number three. Focus is the single greatest factor in personal and professional success. Um, that's a pretty big statement there. Uh, when you say focus, it's the single greatest factor. What, what do you mean by that? Well, let me just give you a quick story and, and why I know this to be true. <clears throat> I transferred from one university to another because of an injury uh, my sophomore year. And um, I, my grade point was very low. I didn't know anyone at that university. And I happened to meet a guy who taught me the value of goal setting and focus. And he, in essence, talked me into uh, developing five goals that I would achieve by the time I graduated from Oklahoma State University and back them up to today and basically say, okay, what do I need to do today to achieve this goal three or four years from now? Mm. And, and I basically went from what had to be number 4,000 in a class of 4,000 to uh, outstanding graduate by the time I graduated. And so I've thought all of these years, why was I able to do that? Because there were a lot of sharp, sharp uh, kids in my class, and I think it was because every day I was focused toward where I wanted to go. I wasn't, uh, there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't have a very clear focus. And so I've tried to carry that through you know my business career and and continually have goals continually focus to get better because what you find is 95 percent of the people maybe 99 percent of the people just kind of get you know pushed around by the waves i mean they just they just function they react to whatever that day brings them and and those people who are intentional and focused um, just have a tremendous advantage in life. I had, well, once had it described to me by a mentor of mine, and he had said, if you're hitchhiking on the side of the road and you put your thumb out, and uh, assuming that a good Samaritan pulls you over and says, hey, you know, how, where do you want to go? If that answer is, I don't know, um, then he'll probably not take you where you want to go, or maybe you'll end up in a weird city or a weird spot, mm -hmm. or you, don't, you just don't know. But if you're intentional and you're hitchhiking and you say, where do you want to go? Well, I want to go here. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going there, I can't take you. The next car, well, I want to go here. Okay, well, I can take you halfway there, right. and you'll eventually get there. But the whole idea is that we're kind of hitchhiking through life, and people are asking you, hey, where do you want to go? And you have to know that. So if you're watching this today, and you're saying, I really don't know where I want to go, don't feel like you're weird. Um, don't feel like you're the only right. person on the planet to have ever been there. <clears throat> but what I can say is that, uh, what, what I can say, though, is that nobody drifts their way to success. You need to be very intentional. And I think that's very, very powerful.